Hi everyone, it's Emma and today in today's vlog we're going to be like doing a type of like day at the barn video so yeah I've got a bareback ride jump I've got a bareback jumping lesson um, in like the really big paddock and well I've also got um, quite a few chores to do um, so yeah let's go So this is Midnight, he's an uh, Arabian stallion, a black Arabian stallion, and he looks pretty hungry. Um, so I'm just going to go get his feed and then groom him and tack him up, ready for the bareback jumping lesson. Okay, boy? So this is his feed bucket right here. Um, yeah, so let's go get him fed. Um, so this is um, just like the wheat bit. It's got a bit of bran in there and it also has a tiny bit of mint in there. So I just give this to him on a daily basis. Um, sometimes I don't even mix it with stuff because it's got all the nutrients horses need. But sometimes you just um, give them a bit more like like today because we're doing bareback show jumping we're both going to need a bit of extra boost of energy so we're going to be adding stuff into this today so this is like the garlic feed um yeah who's this can have garlic and this has quite a lot of nutrients in it it's got some protein um uh, some right amount of calories so it gives them a boost of not a boost of energy but more energy for the lesson so this um isn't actually needed in it but sometimes I just give it to him there um, there's a mixture they've got apple um, they've got some apple in it there's um, some more bran in it there's some oats in it and it's all like put into one pellet this doesn't isn't needed but it like makes the food a bit nicer in a way and you know what let's put some carrots in it as well some carrots Okay, so I got my carrot and let's go put it in the bowl. Okay, so this is the finished product. There's carrots floating around there as well and the pellets. Can't really see them, but I'm telling you, they're in there. So let's go give this to a very hungry boy. He's acting like I haven't fed him a day. Okay, the pony is happy and eating. Um, I've got a bareback lesson with him in about two and a half hours. But I have got some chores to do, like working out some stalls, so here's a quick clip of me doing that. So it's been about two hours now. Um, I've left half an hour because it's quite a long walk there. So I really better be tacking up midnight. Um, 
दिया So before I put it on, I just wanted to show you Midnight Snow Bridal. It's actually a hunter and um, yeah, the bit is quite soft on his mouth. So that should be nice for him. Also, it's got um, the right shape for him because since he's an Arabian, it's always really quite hard to um, find a bridal that fits him. So yeah, we got him this one and he loves it. So let's go put it on. Alright, so I better go get my helmet. See you when I'm done. Okay, so I've got my helmet. And let's go. So this is just me leading him out. So he's, it's a bit windy. But he's being a very good boy. As you can see, his ears are pricked. But every now and then, he is tilting them back to me. So he's being a very good boy until now. It's getting a bit more windy now, and he's not liking it. Oh, he's speaking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good boy. Whew, that scared me. Wow, and I'm bareback as well. So second dilemma of the walk, um, I think a tree had fallen down in the wind, wind and well we came across this. Now I was thinking of not doing it but then I thought it could be a good warm up jump since we are doing bareback jumping so I let him sniff it. Even though it is quite small I still let him have a look at it and smell it and then well fingers crossed it goes well and yeah. Then we went to it. Good boy! So we did the jump, yay! And then we continued with our little journey. Okay, I'm going to talk you through um, what we did. Um, we, um, I warmed him up in shop, and then we went over some poles which we were going to set him up set up his jumps soon for him and my trainer set them up a bit for me other than over jumping them a little bit she did very well um because he over jumped them a bit um and i have no saddle on i did get thrown over the neck a little bit but i was fine i was a tad reluctant to setting them any higher I didn't want to let myself down, so I did set them up a bit more. I got him into a collected canter, and we did both the jumps very nicely. I felt confident enough to jump higher, so I'm just trotting around waiting for my trainer to set up the jumps higher. And what I feared all this time happened, I fell off. So he jumped the jump a little bit too long, so I got through of his neck, and then when he froze, I had no chance of staying on and fell right off. I fell on my hands and knees. Um, my legs were a little bit shaky, but it was no big deal, so I was able to get back on. I walked on a loose rain for a few do laps. Um, so both of us could calm down. The jumps weren't that high, so I got straight back into it. She didn't need to set them down, and yeah, I jumped them. This time, Midnight corrected his mistakes, and he jumped over them perfectly. And from nowhere, I got a sudden burst of confidence, and I wanted to jump even higher. I got him into the correct leg, and I am ultra proud of myself for doing this. I was super proud of myself and I thought it was the best jump yet. After that, I didn't want to fall off again. So, um, also, my trainer agreed that 
it was quite a big day. I have jumped my highest jump yet and fell off at the same time. So I just walked him around and led him back into his stables. Yeah, so that's pretty much, <laughs> pretty much what a day at the barn is like for me. So don't forget to like and subscribe. So see you next time.